On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first satellite into an elliptical, low-Earth orbit. It was only 184 lbs with a 23 diameter and managed to stay in orbit for 21 days before the battery powering the transmitter ran out. It burned up in the atmosphere three months later. This marked the beginning of what would be known as the space race between the Soviets and the US. Operation Plimbov was a series of 29 explosions meant to study various aspects of nuclear bombs, including how to contain the fallout from an underground explosion. To test this, the military set off several explosions at the bottom of long, wells covered with metal caps. In the Pascal B test, when the cap was welded to the top of the well, the blast hit the cap so hard that, according to analyst Robert Brownlee, it reached six times escape velocity. That 900 kilogram cap, according to legend, became the first object launched into space. July 26, scientists tested a nuclear warhead underneath the surface of the Earth. Like every good scientist, they tried it again on August 27 to test safety. Instead of the 55 ton yield of the previous test, they used 300 tons and placed a 2 ton concrete cap just above the ball. Sitting atop the pool was the destined for greatness manhole cover. Scientists expected the concrete plug to vaporize, but when the vapors expanded, the pressure was forced up the shaft and blew the 4 in thick 500 lb steel manhole into the air. The only high speed camera capturing one frame per millisecond was only able to capture the manhole cover in a single frame. When asked about the manhole cover, Dr. Robert Brownlee, the designer of the experiment, said that there was no way to account for all the variables at play, and determine the fate of the steel cover. When pressed by a supervisor, he said that it must have reached six times the escape velocity of Earth, which is 11.2 km per second. Um